While management packs provide great knowledge for monitoring Windows services and applications out of the box, Operations Manager 2007 provides a mechanism for customizing the configuration of any management pack object to allow for scenarios where the default configuration does not provide optimal results. This video is designed to provide an overview of the overrides feature in Operations Manager 2007. Before we start, it is important to note that the ability to override the configuration of a rule or monitor is regulated by rule-based security. Membership to a role of type Advanced Operators is a requirement to use this functionality. A more advanced experience is also provided to author-level users. To illustrate the full overrides functionality in this video, we will use an author-level user. We will start with a simple example. Let's look at the Active Alerts view in the monitoring space. As you can see, I have an Active Alert at the moment. I will take this alert as an example and show how an advanced operator can use overrides to disable the rule or monitor that generated this alert. Right-clicking on the alert opens a context menu when the, where the overrides functionality can be invoked. There are several available options to disable or override the configuration of the monitor, the diagnostic or the recovery actions. In this scenario, we will simply choose to disable the monitor. At this point, we need to define the context for this override. There are five options. For the purposes of this video, we will examine the first three options which are the most commonly used. The first allow disabling the monitor as applied to only to the object for which this particular alert was raised, in this case a website. The second option disables the monitor for all objects of the same type, in this case for all websites. The third option disables the monitor for all objects contained in a group. In this scenario, we would select the third option to disable this monitor for all websites that belong to the Pet Shop Distributed Application Group. This can be useful where there is a set of objects for which this monitor doesn't really apply. In the next dialog, I will select the Pet Shop Distributed Application Group, select OK, and Yes in the Confirmation dialog box. By doing this, I have disabled the monitor that raised this alert for all website objects that belonged to the Pet Shop Distributed Application Group. Next, we will take a look at the experience customizing the configuration of a rule or monitor rather than disabling it altogether. While the overrides functionality can be accessed from several views in the UI, we will remain in the Active Alerts view for this next example. We will use the same alert as a starting point. We will right-click, select Overrides. Only this time, we will choose the Override the Monitor option and pick the website object as the context of this override. This means we will customize the configuration of the monitor which raised the alert as applied to this specific object only. Let's explore the options that appear next. As you can see, the monitor that generated this alert has several override-enabled parameters. This allows us to customize several aspects of this monitor's configuration. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will select the threshold parameter. First, we will select this parameter by clicking on the associated checkbox. Then, we will set the value to 100 under the override setting column. This will configure the monitor to threshold at a value of 100 rather than the default value of 50 for this particular website. We will click OK to save this override. Now that we have created some overrides, I'm going to show how overrides can be managed using the overrides summary views. Once again, I'm going to start from the same alert in the active alerts view. Right click, select overrides, and this time I'm going to highlight the summary option. As you can see, there are several summary views available. I'm going to choose the For the Monitor option. 
This will display all the existing overrides created against the monitor that raised this alert. The override summary dialog shows the list of overrides. Now it's possible to select, edit, and delete any of the existing overrides. This concludes a brief overview of the overrides functionality available to advanced operators and authors. This functionality supports customizing the configuration of monitors and rules available in Management Packs for Operations Manager 2007. To learn more about overrides, you can select any of the help options in the console or refer to the Operations Manager online help.